So here we have to find integral 0 to 1 sin inverse of x whole square divided by root of 1 minus x square dx. Okay, this is a definite integral. That means the integral having upper and lower limit. Also this function is not in an integrable form. So in order to make this function into an integrable form, we are going to substitute this sin inverse x as u then sorry as t then on differentiating with respect to x we will get 1 by root of 1 minus x square equal to dt by dx okay so what is the derivative of sin inverse x 1 by root of 1 minus x square which is equal to dt by dx which implies dx by root of 1 minus x square equal to dt so we get the function in terms of t Next, after substituting, we will get that is, we are taking sin inverse x as t here and root of 1 minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square. Sorry, 1 by root of 1 minus x square equal dx equal to dt. Okay, if we put t equal to sin inverse of x, then we will get this term as dt that is, 1 by root of 1 minus x square. So, we get our integral as integral of t square into dt, which is equal to t cube plus c. Okay. Next, in the next step, we are writing the function in terms of x, that is, integral of sin inverse x whole square divided by root of 1 minus x square dx equal to, what is t here? Sin inverse of x, that is, sin inverse of x whole cube by 3 plus c. So, this is our required result. But wh what we need, that is the definite integral. That is, we have to apply the limits from 0 to 1. So, in the next step, we are going to apply the limits from 0 to 1. That is, integral 0 to 1 sin inverse of x square divided by root of 1 minus x square dx equal to. So, we have the result of the integral here. That is, sin inverse of x whole cube by 3. Next, we have to apply the limits from 0 to 1. Here, we are not using c because in definite integral, we won't use c here. If we use c, then after applying the limits, it will become 0 automatically. Okay. So, we are eliminating c here. Next, on applying limit, we will get 1 by 3. That is, this 3 is taken outside. That is, 1 by 3 into that is upper limit sin inverse of 1 whole cube minus the lower limit sin inverse of 0 whole cube. What is sin inverse of 1? That is pi by 2. That is sin pi by 2 equal to 1. Then sin inverse of 1 is pi by 2. 1 by 3 into pi by 2 whole cube minus sin inverse of 0 is 0. That is we get our result as pi by 2 whole cube minus 0 cube. In the next step, what is pi by 2 whole cube? That is pi cube by 8. That into 3 will give us pi cube by 24. This 0 will become 0. So what is the result? That is pi cube by 24.